So plastics really came into our lives about 50 years ago, but after World War II, it became cheaper, easier to use, the molding changed. And in, in reality, now we're sort of waking up to the fact that plastic doesn't go away. So everything that we created in the last decade still exists, unless we burned it or it was incinerated. And the problem with plastic is it's so diverse in its makeup and all of the different melting points and all of the different types. So the difficulty with plastic is, is recovering it and making value from it. And if people can't do that as they do with paper and glass and metal, it's not as exciting or interesting for people to capture, gather and recover. And when we now have big waste streams with a growing population, and plastic being a very big component in so many of our products, food packaging, healthcare, all the things we need. But a lot of uh, these items out here on the beach that have been washed up are for convenience. One time use, uh, just for packaging to get the product maybe across the world to preserve it. But then we open it up, we use it, and then we throw it away very fast. But the material is meant to last virtually forever. And so there's a huge mismatch with plastic and the way the material is designed for and why it's good, but in its afterlife, it's very bad.